Okay, fine. I admit it is weird, but I can tell you this. Whatever Talmadge saw or didn't see, it wasn't the devil. You're right. Probably one of his minions. A lowly demon that will summon from Beals above to help him get whatever it was he wanted from Talmadge. Demons don't need help getting past security systems, and the devil doesn't need to use the door. I'm gonna take another look at that security cam footage from Will's apartment. Where's the DVD? What DVD? I put a DVD of security footage in this evidence box. Where is it? Stay it in there. You didn't put it in there. The hell I didn't. Who's been in here the past two hours? Detective, no one's been in or out of this room since you checked that box in this morning. So what'd it do? Just walk out on its own? No. It didn't walk out on its own. Beckett, you were right. The killer isn't the devil. The devil doesn't need to dispose of evidence. Clearly. Clearly is the perfect word, because clearly our killer is the invisible man. You collapsed the phone. So I called Will's place to pull security cam footage from the hallway again, and all the files have been erased. The doorman swears that no one has been in the security room since NYPD left the crime scene. No one or someone he couldn't see. Beckett, it fits all the facts. The attack on Talmadge by an unseen force, the missing evidence, the haunted cue ball, even Will's murder. Castle, stop. There's no such thing as the invisible man, but something is going on and Will is at the center of it. Hey, Espo. Yo. What else have we found on Will Fairwick? 